So this is an awesome piece that I found, and I know it's kind of a funny piece, but it's a very old um, commode or bedpan, and um, I just love it so much. But unfortunately, as you can see here, it has very bad damage to it, and uh, whoever fixed it did try to fix it, but you know, there's not a whole lot you could have done for this piece in this method. So I'm going to show you a little trick to make something kind of fun out of it and still be able to keep it as an antique. So for this um, piece, we're going to need a, um, a leather glove or some kind of safety glove, some safe, safety goggles so that you don't get any chips in your eye, and um, a hammer. And I also use a paper bag to also help with chips flying around so it doesn't get too messy. These pieces down here um, are pretty typical. People find these pretty much anywhere at garage sales, estate sales, stuff like that. But I really like them. They're really fun. And if they're in good condition, it's something that I can use. And the idea is to get these roses off of here and then glue them onto your commode. To go ahead and open up this bag. And I'm going to start with this one. And so I'm going to wrap the bag around the areas that I'm going to be trying to get off of there. And I'm going to hold the flower with my gloved hand. Uh, in hopes that it doesn't break too much. And a lot of times these are fragile and they do break, so you might want to have a few extras of these laying around or collect a few of them at different estate sales. Um, the other way, if I'm doing it this way because I don't have a um, Dremel tool, but you can get a ceramic Dremel tool that um, you could literally grind that off of there and that would be a lot safer way to do it for the road. Go ahead and get our hammer in place and we're going to try to hit this without damaging the flower. So that'll be interesting. Oh, look at that. Pop right off. Did you see that? There it is. There's our lovely rose. And I'm going to set it over there. And let's see if we can have as good of luck with the second piece. Oh, it gets broken while it's over there. Oopsie. So on this one's going to be kind of hard to hold on to. I'll do the best I can here. Put it in here. Underneath. And I know this can be a little scary for some people. I personally really like doing it. <laughs> As I like to get my uh, anger out on stuff, but um, you know, once you break your flowers on accident, then you'll be sad. But okay, so you can see here that this piece is still on there. I really want to get that some more of that off of there. Um, so I'm going to try to hit it one more time. I'm going to flip it over on the flat. So now that I've got my roses here, I'll get my piece. And um, you're going to want to use kind of like a pretty strong glue, like maybe a E6000 or something like that. I don't have any of that E6000 with me right now, but you'll just go ahead and put your E6000 on here and set your roses on where you'd like them to cover up those spaces. And you might have to do some bracing with some tape to hold them on a little bit. I'll just put my hand there for right now. But it kind of is looking like this really isn't maybe enough roses, so I'm going to have to do a little bit more searching out of roses in my area, maybe hit some garage sales this weekend and try to find some more. You can kind of get the idea of what that's going to start to look like, and that really it makes a nice impact. Well, thank you so much for joining me today and at Relic of Vintage. And, um, Make sure that you go to my Relic of Vintage on Facebook and like my page. I have a lot of other types of information about decorating your home and 
um, other fun items that you might want to um, think about including in your home. Um, if you have a question about fixing an antique um, or anything of that nature, you know, feel free to email me and I'll see what I can do. Let me know how I can help. Um, the idea is to try to save as many items from getting tossed away as possible so we can keep our uh, history and beautiful items that we've inherited. So again, thanks so much for joining us and uh, we'll see you next time.